Hello, in this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to use the list view in Examine Spotlight. I already have a case open with an extraction of an iPhone I conducted previously, and I'm currently showing all of the artifacts in the case. The list view is the default view in Examine Spotlight. There are a total of five available views, and some of the other views will be covered in different videos. The other view selection tabs that you see in my screen are part of Examine Horizon tool, and will be covered in later how-to videos. When opening a case or extraction to view the artifacts, it will always use the list view, unless you select a quick view with a specific view denoted in parentheses. For example, you could see here the pictures gallery view and the calls messages chat view. The list view can display all types of artifacts and will show up to three properties for each artifact in the list depending on the type. To view the full details of any artifact, simply select it, and it will be shown in the details pane to the right. Even with a small extraction like this one, which only has 26,564 artifacts, it is necessary to use filters and sorting to locate relevant data quickly and efficiently. Let's filter the data to show all the calls in the case, and then sort them by time, newest to oldest. After selecting calls in the filter pane, we can now see the 15 calls in this case. However, they are not sorted. To sort them by time, I simply open the drop down menu next to sort by and select time from the drop down menu. By default, it will be displayed newest to oldest. And to change the direction of the sort, all you have to do is click on the newest word and it will change it from oldest to newest. As you can see, there are a number of sorting options available, which can be used to try and locate the most relevant data quickly in the list view. Clicking on one of the calls, we can see the details for the specific call and see here the application, what type of call it was, the dates and times associated with the call and its duration, along with some other information. You can also at the bottom see the name match field which attempts to match the phone number along with the name stored in the contacts for the device. As you can see, the list view makes it quick and easy to view the data in extractions.